Good morning, folks. Quick ISON update out of Hubble is that all remaining pieces are too small to be seen with it. Not visible in this view, well under 500 feet and below magnitude 25. A lot of questions remaining about the meteors from ISON, people asking about the remnants of the comet posing a threat to Earth. If you just look down from the north on the orbital diagram, it appears the Earth could get a close encounter. However, gaining a third dimension to the chart shows just how far north the comet is heading, nowhere near our planet. After perihelion, the tiny last visible rock was whizzing up faster than the dust blown off, making it appear higher in the Lasco C3 frames than the dust coming off of it, and confusing many people into thinking that meant the comet was somehow ejecting material southward towards Earth. Yet another failure of looking in only two dimensions. There is zero threat from the remaining ice on pieces. The only remaining show is a very possible aesthetic beauty of a dusting in mid-January. It's when Earth gets to Ison's incoming trajectory. Much, much closer there to an actual intersection with our path than the now exiting rock fragment. And with annual meteor showers from 100-year-old comets, might want to keep an eye out for a show on year one of passing Ison. Still, likely to be a visible sight only. Good article here that will hit a topic we're going to focus on in 2014. You think there's concern over the coastlines when it comes to climate change? Well, you're not wrong, but the top concerns are in the bread baskets, and they're serious. Let's go quick through the wind layers on a flattened earth. This is surface drive. Up next, we're in the clouds where our weather happens, a nice mix of pressure surface drive and the force imparted by the jet stream, which is itself up another layer. Only the strongest pressure cells keep their spin visibility. And last, up top we have the upper stratosphere, top line winds well above the commercial airplanes. Brazil got the rainforest thing down as the satellite images have been showing for a while. This time of year we constantly watch for landslide reports out of vulnerable areas like mines. Extreme weather in southern Australia as a powerful load drew a convergence line up the leading east edge and created the severe weather. Let's rewrap that wind map on a globe and look at Amara and Bruce in the Indian Ocean. Got major storm power there, but currently over the water, which is not the case in Europe where these lows are packing a punch a bit stronger than they're used to seeing over there. That's one of the things to look for as a first step in the north winter shifts resultant of lack of solar flares. The convergence over the U.S. is so strong they're even showing it on the full globe. U.S. wind map alone truly shows how the air is smashing together, which is where the rain and snow comes down, quite visibly affecting the current water flow in the U.S. according to the USGS with the backside drop pulling colder air than I ever, ever want to see, ever, ever. Cosmic rays still rising and now approaching the high end of normal levels. Solar wind showing a minor density spike but immediate drop off as the speed follows it down. Geomagnetics are fairly calm and the sensitive meters are holding alright. Solar flaring is slightly elevated from before. We did take those two M flares yesterday from the incoming groups, but which have gone quiet since then. Let's take a look at the spots. As the incomers hush with Earth in their periphery, the baby group is gaining his independence and popped a C9 this morning as he prepares to exit our ward. The central development, zero magnetic mixing of the umbral cores. As we look to the incomers, you can see the complexity at the backside and reason for the M flares. Will it continue or follow the Earth facing quiet pattern? Backside coronal holes are more powerful, but we do see some intensity in the incoming groups. Coronal and umbral fields appear open and ready to let the big dog bark. This weekend's evening news are the first chance for a watch score of 8 in the month of December, especially with Mercury now 6 days from conjoining the Sun. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.